Hey guys, welcome back to the next video and this time it is the P2 thermal camera. I'm going to show you and tell you the overall specifications and then I'm going to show you some actual footage from this. So what I'm basically going to show you right here is what actually comes included inside the box. It does come with a pass-through Type-C cable which is actually handy, especially in tight spaces where you can't get your camera at. But this, with an extended Type-C cable, you can. You can actually extend it and put it at any other different angle. It comes with a start guide, it, which I do actually say, please... Read the start guide because it does tell you all the information. It does come with a little case as well, a carry case for the thermal camera. It does come with a clip as well, the clip onto maybe your belt or your work belt or something like that. And that's pretty much it for what comes in the box. Okay, so what I'm going to actually show you right here is a CPU cooler from Noctua. This is the NHD12L. Now, this is the only way I can actually demonstrate how this little camera works, because I don't know how else. I can't show you elect electrical items because I don't really know, but when it comes to a heatsink or a CPU cooler, I know what I'm talking about. I've reviewed so many that I know what happens when it cools down and heats up. But what you can see by here is three different sensors. It's got P1, P2, P3. I've got one pointed at the overall vrms and the motherboard around it as you can see it's 48.2 degrees one is pointed at the heatsink itself which is p3 and then the other one is pointed at towards the fan now i'm showing you right here how it heats up from a cold standstill it's not a quick process but i'm running cinebench r23 right here now it's going to hit this full max within so many it, you know, it's not going to take long because this isn't the biggest cooler from Noctua, but it'll give you the idea of how this actual little camera works. Now, what you can see is the heat pipes as well as the fins heating up, but the fan isn't. It's because it's still blowing fresh air. But as you can see from temp sensor P1, the temps are rising. That would be the overall heat dissipation coming from the heat sink it's pushing out on the sides now as you can see by here the actually you can see the fan by there as well with p2 you can see a little red around the fan blades that's because it's pushing hot air aside but now it's starting to cool down i've just turned off cinebench r23 now i hope you actually like that because this is a fantastic demonstration to show you how it works and now we'll move on to something else Okay, so this is another demonstration, different feature, but obviously it does the exact same thing. But this time it tells you the minimums, the averages, and the maxes. Now, what you can actually see by here, if you look at the max temperature, it's, 40, it's 75 degrees. That is showing the heat put coming out of the cooler. It's the same Noctua NHD12L cooler. I used it through the overall demonstration just to show you that it shows up the overall temps at minimums the maxes as well as the averages i think this is a very cool little camera device that i think electricians builders anyone that does anything that with anything that generates a heat this would be good for something like an electrician trying to find a wire that's overheating in the wall if he doesn't have like a different type of thermal camera but but you i'm starting to move it it'll just show you the heat sink but you can see that this little device is very cool okay guys what did you think now i shown you a lot of different uh a lot of stuff in the overall talking part now the footage i'm showing you is footage i've taken is two different types of footage one that actually just shows you a cold start to a to a very hot start and then the other then shows you the overall sensor picking up on different parts of like the motherboard the ram the graphs card the back back plate it shows you every part of it within that little this little camera it shows you which parts the hottest which parts the coldest and then obviously i showed you and the dissipation of the nh d12l it does show you the minimums as well as the mac yes it's a, a very expensive device it's about 300 dollars but personally I think this is so cool. Now, I've had this for a while, but obviously I've been waiting to make the video. And honestly, I love this little camera. I think it's cool. Look how tiny that is. 
and this thing looks dirty in my hand right and i think it's a very cool little device the software is very easy to use once you've installed the software all you gotta do is put this on in click it into your device and the software automatically just starts up without even pressing on anything that's very good now where this type of device will actually be handy for people is more electricians someone who is trying to find maybe a wire that's burnt out inside of a wall maybe something within a joint or something like that that's got wiring and that they need to pinpoint the overall heat now this is where this comes in as long as it's not reflective it will pick up on it I've, I've played about with it i think it's a very cool piece of tech and it's very small but i like the carrying case it very does feel very nice i like the fact that you can clip it onto your maybe your keys or your belt that's very good because at least then you won't have to worry about losing it it will show you especially if something in the computer is overheating that's where this will come in handy for me going forward this is how i'll be using it, it is for cpu cooler reviews primarily and for other things now what i will be doing so on from now is including it not every video but some videos primarily brand new air coolers this will show an accurate reading which I did show through the footage, which I think is fantastic. But something that's so small, I just really like the overall device. Now, if you want to buy one, there is going to be an affiliate link down below. Make sure you check the website because this isn't the best one they got. They do have the pro version, which is a bit bigger and it's probably got a bit more features. But I guess my recommendation, the overall software was easy to use. Yes, it's a little bit pricey, but if you're someone in that field that needs something that's small enough to carry in your pocket then certainly gets a good recommendation for me and i honestly think it's well worth it for how much technology is in this little camera so yeah look make sure you subscribe because i got loads of stuff coming as well i will be using this in in future videos especially when a new aio cooler something that generates a lot of heat i will be using this so make sure you subscribe because it will be happening very soon and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you good bye